Welcome everyone to Unscripted Coding. Today we're going to check out um, Google AI Studio and in particular they have a uh, starter app called Explain Things with Lots of Tiny Cats. Now that might be a bit confusing so I'm just going to switch over to my next tab where I uh, ran it once already and I ran it with the Explain How Neural Networks Work uh, prompt. So, uh, as you can imagine, they just use a uh, very cute images of lots of tiny cats to explain different concepts. And now neural networks is a great one um, to, to do. And so um, we're going to see that you have a huge room filled with tiny fluffy cats. They're each called neurons. Uh, you know, when uh, they see something by the door, they get excited and nudge the cats. Uh, next to them. So um, hopefully you know how neural networks work, but uh, when an input comes in, it goes through multiple layers of uh, neural uh, of neurons and they kind of activate them down the line. And this is where the nudging comes in. And, you know, it's a very simple, uh, simplified explanation, but it's extraordinarily cute. Uh, you know, the nudge cats then nudge their neighbors and there's a tiny wave of there's a wave of tiny cat excitement and you know they they start learning things and this is how it uh how they learn um as the cats learn what the nudges mean they get smarter and uh that's kind of how neural networks learn i just think this is an incredibly cute and well uh, thought out idea and you know google could probably make bit of money on the side just putting this out as an app. I think lots of people would play around with this. And yet, no one has. Um, I have seen this sitting in my starter, in the set of starter apps for at least a couple weeks now, maybe a month. And I haven't seen anyone talk about it because no one really looks at these things. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to just take a look at the code <coughs> and see how this all works you you can see it's a very short script here it's very basic it's um very very uh simple to generate and really all it's doing is going through to gemini 2.0 which of course you uh cannot see uh without me zooming in a bit more but uh, before we start, I was just going to run another one and uh, say, explain how YouTube streamers make money. And we'll see how this turns out. It does take a bit of time, so uh, I'll show you when the first image comes out. Um, and then then the next, then the next, then the next. So uh, while we explore the code, we are going to um, have this running in the background. I've asked it a bunch of different things, and it's hilarious. I asked it about economics and inflation. I asked it about NVIDIA, um, just a whole bunch of different topics. And, uh, you know, you're not going to get a PhD uh, reading these, but it's a nice, simple explanation. And I think these are actually quite great if you have young kids. Anyways, uh, let's take a look. Um, the HTML is extraordinarily bare bones. Uh, they are using uh, generative AI uh, or Google's Gen AI. Um, you can definitely do this with uh, just direct calls to the um, API, but uh, they are they're using their package. I'm not too sure what marked is. I, I think it is uh, related to uh, the font um, that, that they're using. And then finally, we have a very, very basic container. So if we show the preview, uh, you have an H1, there's a, you know a paragraph, and then a bunch of lists here that I think we can select. There's an output, an error, and then a slideshow. These are empty div um items that they're obviously going to populate now we really don't care about the css but um oh here's the font indie flower family so maybe marked isn't that 
But regardless, um, we don't care so much about the CSS here. It's uh, a bunch of uh, sizing and, and colors and such to get to this look, which honestly, I am not all that big of a fan of anyways. The big one is that there is this TypeScript, and you might think this takes a lot, but really there's only 130 lines here, and there is uh, some that is comments and so on. Okay, so we'll find out what marked is very soon, but they are starting a brand new uh, Gen AI um, uh, parameter here. Uh, not parameter, uh, I am losing my ability to speak. Um, new variable um, with an API key, of course. Uh, this is a simplified version. Again, you can just uh, call it uh, through APIs. But here you can see they're just using Gemini 2.0 Flash. Um, right now, uh, it is using the image generation preview, which is quite nice because um, if you're playing around with it, Gemini 2.0 Flash, they have opened it up so that you can create images on the fly. So it is a multimodal model, meaning that you could just ask it to generate images. It's not connecting to Dolly or, or Imagine. It's not using a third-party service. It is just baked into Gemini because it's been trained with images too. Um, What's nice about this uh, preview is that you can actually edit images, and I'm curious if they've done it here to keep a consistent style. But basically, if you want, um, with this model, you can put an image of me, for example, in there and ask it to, you know, add pink hair or, uh, you know, change my t-shirt or something like that. Um, these new models from Gemini are getting more and more um, sophisticated in their image editing. And I suspect that in a few more generations, we're going to be able to just ask Gemini to do classic Photoshop things, change the saturation, you know, um, you know, beauty filters, Snapchat filters, things like that, and put giant flames behind me. Um, we are turning on the image modality um, in the response. That means that it can respond in both text and image. Uh, and then the history is just a history of the chat. So here we're going to grab uh, the user input. Uh, and, and this is the big prompt here. Use a fun story about lots of tiny cats as a metaphor. Keep sentences short, but conversational, casual, and engaging. Generate a cute minimal illustration for each sentence with black ink on white background. So there's part of it. No commentary, just begin your explanation. Keep going until you're done. So I think there must be, or maybe not, um, there must be some prompt to say explain, which is right here. This is what you give it. Explain how neural networks work. And then use a fun story with lots of tiny cats as a metaphor, blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> now, I think what we're gonna do is work uh, backwards here. When, um, when we see something, we're going to disable the user input, um, blah, 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 we're just gonna empty everything out, and then we're gonna try. We're going to uh, find what the message you've put is, um, uh, stream that message out to uh, the model, uh, await things as they come, and then they're going to join all the text together. And then when uh, there is data instead of text, it's going to spit it out as a PNG file. Um, and the rest of it is adding the text and the image to the slides. So that's when the first slide, then the second slide, then the third slide comes. <coughs> Finally, um, we come up to the add slide. Uh, very, very simple. You're just creating an element, a new div element, put in the text and the image, um, and then finally add it all in. And then there's a error thing, which I don't care so much about. Uh, okay, so let's see what it looks like in terms of how YouTube streamers make money.
So YouTube streamers earn cash in cool ways. Imagine a huge pile of super cute tiny cats. Some people toss tiny coins at the cats because they're adorable. These tiny coins are like viewer donations. Sometimes cat food brands give cats treats to show them off. So that's sponsorships and ads. People can also pay a little extra to become a super fan cat. Uh, this is like channel memberships, blah, 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 blah. So uh, I'm, I find it one, very, very cute, but two, uh, surprising that it has such a consistent style throughout. If we take a look at this one, um, this is the only kind of color image, but these ones are, I guess they're not super consistent. But the only thing that was given is this prompt, black and white, cute, minimal illustration, because I had originally thought one possible way is that they could have given uh, a an initial image of a cat of, you know, here's what I mean by black and white, just seed the generation so that you can have it quite, um, quite uh, standardized throughout. Anyways, um, I'm going to just end the video here. I There are lots of starter apps here. Um, I tried the GIF maker. It was quite not great. Uh, we have the maps, maps planner. The spatial understanding has been there for like a year. Uh, these are quite basic, but this one really stood out. So I hope that uh, you will check out other starter apps in the future, but I, I hope you'll ask some interesting questions here and just have a shot of happiness and joy because uh, it brought a smile to me when I first saw this and I thought this has to go into a channel. And in some ways, I'm thinking about how I can make my own knockoff version of this with maybe dogs instead of cats or squirrels instead of cats. Okay, so we'll end it here, and uh, I will see you next week with another project on unscripted coding. Thanks. Bye.